So we're now going to look at a quick and easy way of building a list based on a sequence in Excel. So let's take a look at a, an obvious one. So let's say we want to build a list of sequential numbers going from 1 to whatever. So if I put 1 in the first cell, 2 in the second cell, now I'm doing this all vertically just so it's easier to see, you can do this horizontally. Once you've entered your sequence in, drag over the two items or more that you've actually built your sequence with, then move your mouse to the bottom right hand corner. So this is expecting to go up in increments of 1, so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. I get the fill handle at the bottom right, click and hold, drag and then let go. As you can see it's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now this could go on endlessly. And I'm just going to remove this information. Okay, let's say we want it to go in, up in multiples of 5, so I'm going to put 5 and then 10 in my second item. Drag over the first two, move to the fill handle at the bottom, click and drag, and then let go. As you can see, it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. And you could fill this out however you want. So you could build this up in whatever sequence you want. You could go up in uh, multiples of, I don't know, 3, 6. So drag this down. Can you see it's going 3, 6, 9, 12, so on and so forth. Now, this doesn't only work with numbers, it also works with text and it also works with dates, which is really quite useful. So let's have a look at text first. So let's say I want to build up a staff list where I'm entering information for each day. So let's say I've got Tom, Sarah, Jane and Ben and then let's say I have a space so if I just drag over Tom, Sarah, Jane, Ben and then the space move to my fill handle click and hold drag and then let go drag and away we go can you see what it's done it's filled out the same sequence going all the way down my screen so I don't have to bother with sort of messy copy and paste operations I can just put the sequence in that I want and then drag it down so let's just get rid of this. We can also do this with months. So I'm just going to put Jan. Click and then drag. Can you see Feb, March, April, May, so on and so forth. This also works with dates. So I'm just going to put 01, 01, 2009 in. If I just drag this down. Can you see it increments the uh, date by one? I can also do it like so. So if I put in the word item and then one, and then drag this down, can you see it's gone item one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So there are quite a lot of different ways you can get Excel to build these lists for you, and they're just a few sort of permutations to show you what's possible. But as you can see, you can build lists really quite quickly and easily within Excel, and this will help you build your templates.